Hey everybody, welcome back to Champion Sons and our Austin Adventure Park series here in Planet Coaster. Now we have got our newest ride and it kind of leads into our newest section coming up. Um, it's not in an overly thrill ride, but it is a fun one to actually build and to work on these. Um, it is the River Rapids ride. So, you know, have some splashes, get everybody cooled off. And I think this is going to work perfect to lead into our next section, um, which is going to be more of a sci-fi type of themed area. Now, like I said, it's not going to be super heavily themed, but it'll be um, pretty well enough. And I think this ride can fit perfectly into that. And you see the layout, it is going to be rather simple. Um, nothing too extravagant on the overall layout of the ride we do have some little splash zones some little rapid areas to kind of get everybody twisting and turning but it, it is meant to be kind of a little cool off point um, a little cool off spot you know around the first pirate section we have the lake and everything for you people to chill on you know stand over um, even coming into a middle section we have another little water area that everybody can um, look over and all that and relax with it. So I figured this works out perfect having it at the back of the park. Now, what you're seeing here after we got the layout done is a basic um, entrance queue for this ride. And, and that's really kind of what it, it's going to be a longer entrance queue, even though these rides are not, you know, as hyped up as you get with some of the bigger coasters. But I do think that they still hold their own and the number of people that can get backed up in these things, you know, it works to have their own little um, queue line worked out. It should be pretty long, and it gets people time to cool off. It is out in the open right now, but we are going to get that shaded um, as we kind of go here. We still have to get into a lot of the decorating, not just of the station, um, but also surrounding the ride as well. And so it is going to be more of an... The idea behind this one is... More of a river, I guess, running through the, essentially the forest where you would have a kind of like a little UFO crash site's going to go in, um, and some little sci-fi things sticking out and around. Made me think of that really was you know the Predator movies. Um, too bad they didn't have a Predator little expansion pack for this thing since they came out with Ghostbusters would have been too much to ask for Predator. I don't think so, but they didn't do it. Um, so that, that was kind of the theory behind it is coming off those movies, you know, you have, you know, ships crashing in, in the woods or at least the battles happening in the woods. Arnold taking on the Predator, you know, in, uh, was it Cambodia, I think, is where that's supposed to be set at. But that, that, that was the idea behind this, right? And so that's why you're going to see a lot of more wooded section. I do, for the most part, want to keep the track post kind of hidden up. So that's what we're doing right now. And you're kind of seeing us um, stack these up. And yeah, it's going to look a little fake, but a lot of these rock designs um, that go into these right yeah, they're pretty fake looking. I'm not sure if y'all ever really notice that. You know, it's kind of hard to make these things look all that realistic for it because they are fake. And, you know, that's kind of the way it goes, right? So this is going to be kind of one of the first big areas um, as far as getting the lovely rock work going and getting the um, supports hidden and really starting on the basic kind of path and story of this ride, which is going through a forest and being lost um, and coming upon an alien crash site. So that's where we are at with it. I'm going to go ahead and drop off for just a little bit and let y'all continue to watch this ride come to life and I will join up with y'all here in a little while everybody see y'all then
Hey, and I am back, so let's catch up with where we are. I mean, as y'all have seen it, so we're just getting through with kind of the cue path. And I do keep everything fenced off, right? You kind of have to in the realm of you know, theme park safety. You really want to make sure that people can't jump out because uh, that can result in some people being kicked out of parks. You know, just saying. Just saying. It's happened before. There's evidence of it. Um, but <laughs> that's all we're doing right now is kind of finishing up some of the decorating. And like I said, I wanted it to be more of um, a sci-fi area. So you do see, while it is based in a river rapid, which is obviously more, I guess, woody, amazon type of thing, it, it, try to keep with the um, futuristic type of appeal for the ride, keeping a lot of metal posts um, around what looks like metal bars essentially you know for these roof supports and all that and you know some of those decorations that went in one the trees had to really block it off because in an ideal world coming up from the, three, the other areas from the front of the park basically um, you know you, you wanted it to be blocked up you wanted people to be able to hear it and to hear the water running but not really always be able to just kind of see it. You have a couple of walkover points on the cue path, and that I think works out pretty well for it. But. So we kept it pretty well hidden with the plant work and all that. And, you know, being in Texas, cue paths, good lord, there are some at our home parks. Um, I think the Wonder Woman at Six Flags, I guess, in Texas is for the most part pretty well open and not covered hot as hell constantly not very fun to walk through not much to look at anyways but still you know so I, I do make sure to take care and cover up every uh, cue path because in my ideal world we would have them all at least covered may not have to have AC or fans going through but they would be covered you know what I mean 
I'm here just putting in some extra little sci-fi sections. Those are little, I guess, walker feet, it looks like. Um, but they do stick out just enough to kind of make it look pretty decent. And then we're filling in some of these blanks around the spaceship, the green pod of Ninja Turtle ooze, and uh, all those things. And so that's what a lot of this is coming up here to the end. Now we are going to get into a uh, point of view ride on this one. So you'll kind of see what people would see, what the peeps would be looking at going on this thing. Uh, and so I, I really did want to make sure to take care to cover up a lot of that stuff. So it does it does look more natural. Everybody knows it's a regular ride, but it definitely does look more natural. Uh, trying to figure out, y'all know how I feel about path covers. I think they are completely needed. Black asphalt like that would, you know, possibly melt your shoes in Texas heat. So I, I try to keep everything covered up as much as I can. And working on that, I think we'll get more to the path cover stuff a little bit later on. In the in the uh, in the series, you know. So here we are finishing up some of these decorations, getting everything kind of blocked off. I think the hidden factor of this kind of ride is really works to its advantage. No, it's not going to be your overly 60, 80 mile an hour thrill ride, but this one is more or less triggered to you know get your senses going, your what you can see, what you can. Here, the way it feels, the mist that would come off the water and all that. Uh, that that would be kind of one of the bigger things about this ride. And then, like I say, sci-fi, we're going to put a couple rocket engines here at the entrance with a basic sign uh, to kind of get everybody to know, hey, this is where we come in at. We have the exit path that comes out right over there. So I, I do like how this one turned out. I think it looks pretty dang good. Kind of mapping out the rest of this section for now. Trust me, it will change. I promise you. Uh, so don't don't fret too much about it. We're not going to get to that in this episode. That will be in the next episode where we will have, I want to say, our last roller coaster, most likely, and um, you know then we'll get to a walkthrough. So we're looking at a couple more episodes for this park in total before we are completely done with it. Still a lot of work to be done right now, but hey. We're, we're making progress. We're building it out. And so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And here we are just adding in some additional coverages. You got to figure if you're going to have an alien ship crash into the Amazon, if there were buildings, they would probably have some vine stuff growing on them. So that's basic coverage. It's nothing too extensive. Um, sh shading would help out with it, you know. Any type of moisture that can kind of cool off the area would help out. So you know you'd have to have misters and stuff up there. And I, and I think it looks pretty dang good for basically being lost on a river in the Amazon coming across these alien spacecraft. You know what I'm saying? So here we are, just some of the final touches before we do get into the actual POV of the ride. It's a waterfall, more or less. It's a waterfall. <laughs> it's not like an extravagant one. But everybody knows on these things, you got to get hit with some water. Make sure everybody gets um, soaked a little bit. And I think it turns out pretty well. This would be a pretty fun ride to go on. So this is getting up to the POV section about where I am going to leave off for y'all. And so with that in mind, I do want to remind y'all to hit that subscribe button. We are approaching this first lift hill, and I will let y'all get to it for the rest of this episode. And everybody, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys always. Stay safe.